What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. We have really exciting news to share with you all today. There's a new crossover confirmed Final Fantasy VII with Final Fantasy VI Kev Palacio. It's coming. Oh my days. More limited banners. My wallet is going to break. Oh my god, this music is amazing. Wait, 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 wait. Let's just stop for that second. So that hit felt like clearly 100% win damage. So I did used to have two really good weapons. Flawler 1 does physical defense down mid and wind resistance down high for 20% physical damage and it costs 3 ADVs and also Prince Rod that does 800% wind magical elemental damage so i wonder if this time around is going to be physical or if it's going to be magical but it seems that we're getting a new level of power for iris so that she can continue using win arcanum i wonder if this is also going to be win arcanum with perhaps buff and debuff extension we will see the outfit looks fantastic she really looks like terra I i'm really sad about this one Okay, that felt clearly non-elemental to me. Um, I wonder, since he already has Sidan sword, that used to do a thousand one hundred percent physical non-elemental. I wonder if this time around it's gonna be magical, or I wonder if we're gonna see the two states you know like lately we have seen weapons that do more damage when you are buff or when the enemy is the buff or when your hp is more than 70 percent i wonder if we're going to see something around those lines maybe two or three states in the same weapon really good looking of it pretty exciting to see what what is this this is kamehameha tifa is the crossover with Final Fantasy VI or, or with Dragon Ball? This looks 100% like Hadouken, like a Kamehameha. <laughs> she used to do a similar movement with Amaran's claws. I wonder how much this is going to be. Wow. <laughs> the outfit looks funny, um, but the Kamehameha looks, yeah, must pull. <laughs> Very nice looking outfit as well. And that is clearly water. And Sephiroth already has like an outfit, a water outfit, plus a water weapon, which is like this uh, Tempest. So I wonder if we're going to see an increase in power so that he can compete with, uh, or maybe he can team up now after this outfit with Angeal. Because lately we have seen that he has fallen a bit behind Tempest does 700% physical water damage and when HP is 50% or more, water resistance is decreased high. Uh, it has 46 physical attack and 39 water potency. I wonder if this is gonna... Yeah, I wonder what this is going to do. Maybe like a thousand one hundred percent physical water damage and also water resist down? I, I, I don't know, I don't know. Kefka is here! <laughs> wow and it's coming october 30th so for us in europe that will be 31st thursday um that's pretty exciting and at the same time there is not a single break <laughs> we just got a limited banner with angel uh, we just got the new banner with Red 13 and Barret, and now another week. I think it's like we are eight or nine weeks in a row now with banners. Pretty, pretty crazy. I think, yeah, what do you think? What do you think? I think this is getting uh, a bit too much, perhaps. Uh, I still like the idea of banners, you know. Uh, it's just like as long as they keep the level of power creep, but the problem is. This one being limited, we know that they are going to break another level of power. So I'm a bit worried about this one. 
But what do you think? Are you going to pull? Does this like sound interesting for you? I can totally see myself pulling on Iris and Tifa. I don't know if I will pull on Sephiroth, but Sephiroth, since I don't have like a proper water team, maybe it's time for me to build that one. Now, yeah, what are your thoughts? Sorry for not putting the camera on for my weird setup. Until the next time, thanks a lot for watching. If you like this type of content, please consider so when I like and subscribe. Cheerios! Bye-bye!